Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 104 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a German whisper problem, um, and created by Sotek, um, based around an idea I know he's been exploring. Um, the goal is to fully resolve the digits in the highlighted cells, so these ones. There is a link below to where you can get a copy of this um, for yourself. And the trick with this is a uh, German whisper line, sorry, the way German whisper lines work is adjacent digits on German whisper lines have to have a difference of at least five. So um, feel free to grab a copy of the link um, below and to give this one a try. Um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can give this a, a try. You can pause the video and then when you come back and unpause the video, I will explain how this one works. Okay, so this one, there's a couple of different ways of looking at this. I mean, the first thing you can see is because you can never put a five on a German whisper line, because five lower than five is zero or lower, five higher is 10 or higher, this becomes a five, but that's not relevant, important to the solve. Now, there is a trick in row five that is very important to understand because these are two cell long German whisper lines. And I'm gonna go into the concept of this. Um, may not be 100% required to solve this, but I do want to go into this trick because I think it's very important. If you think about what has to go with four in this row, um, four has to go with nine because it's the only thing that can go with it. So wherever four is in this row, it's going to take up the nine. So I'm just gonna use these cells to, to mark that. So four is going to claim the nine in this row. And we know wherever six goes in this row, it's gonna claim the one. So this leaves us with two, three, and seven, eight that have not been claimed in this row. But the three can never go with the seven. So the three is gonna go with the eight and the two is gonna go with the seven. Three can't go with seven because they're too close to each other. So, whoops, I meant to do two, seven. So these are the pairs that are going to exist on this line. And that's really, really important. Now we want to look at box five, and this is where I think a lot of people are going to start, because what they can see is, because this cell is adjacent to all of those, there's a concept with German whisper lines, which I probably assumed before I explained that, which is, they must have the two different high lows on them, and that's because of the five difference. Um, any low digit, five different from it, staying within one to nine, will jump to six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four will jump to six, seven, eight, nine, and vice versa, because these are the pairs we must have using that principle. Um, and four and nine are the most restrictive. So because this is adjacent, these these four cells, um, this cell is adjacent to these four, these must all either be all high or all low. And they can't all be high because the six is available. So these are all low and they are one, two, three, four. Now, in one of these has to be four, so this becomes the nine. But in this row, we've already um, I've already shown you that wherever the four goes in this row must be next to the nine on one of these pairs. So this becomes the four, and we get these two digits. Now, we can't put a six here, um, and we can't put a one here. So this is not the one six. So this is, e and this is a high digit. So this is either seven or eight. I mean, basically this is a high digit and um, because the low digits are all gone, six, nine, this becomes seven, eight. Now, because this is seven, eight, we know that the seven must go with the two and the three must go with the eight. So if this is eight, this is three and it can't be. So this becomes the seven and that's the solution to the problem. And it's all based around the fact that this is adjacent to four digits of the same other polarity and in this line, we are forced to use these pairs. Now, this is not the indication of the pairs that go in those cells. This is me just trying to explain the pairs that have to exist in this row in order for the row to be completable. I'm not sure if this is gonna stump some people or not. Um, all of the testers I've got had seen this trick a few times, and there's actually been a previous puzzle on my channel that uses this. So yeah, I'm not sure. So. We'll see based on feedback in the comments. Hopefully you were able to, to figure this one out. I really like the, uh, this deduction with German whispers. Um, I, I think it's a really cool one um, and it can lead to some very tricky puzzles. So yeah, it's really cool. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.